guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out the Too Faced Lady Bold Cream Lipsticks. They came out 12 shades. They're running for $24 each and I picked up five different lip colors. So we're going to be trying them on today. We're going to see how creamy is the formula, how pigmented are they, how does it feel on the lips, and what is the packaging like because I feel like that honestly does matter. Keep in mind this is supposed to be paraben free. It's supposed to be long lasting, really creamy the formula, really pigmented but lightweight and comfortable all at the same time. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Everything of course will be linked down below as always. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you already haven't subscribed to my channel. And let's dive on in and try them on. By the way, if you can hear Gracie, which by the way, I adopted another cat. She is currently meowing on the other side of the door. I like to like lock myself into the room when I am filming and she just keeps meowing. You know, she's going through the little stage right now. She's a baby kitten. So we're just going to hopefully move through this video and hopefully you don't hear her meow too much so let's dive on in to the packaging of this lipstick because i feel like that honestly really does matter i always take that into consideration especially when it comes to more higher end lip products so this one from Too Faced let me tell you this feels really luxe i love how holographic and fancy it is i love that it says bold and the other side says lady bold lady it is like magnetic so it closes it's nice and secure and tight which is perfect because you don't have to worry about losing the top or it flying around in your purse as for the lipstick itself i love that it has it's like shaped of a heart that's so cute very unique love the little touches that they made in this collection and honestly when it comes to a scent let's see it does have a scent it actually smells like a tangerine scent which i personally like just because it's different than your typical vanilla or you know or can kind of cupcake scent as for the tip of the lipstick, I personally love that they included that just because it's so pointed that it's perfect that you can use it to line your lips in case you don't have a lip liner at hand. And the first lip shade we're going to go ahead and try out is called Comeback Queen. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it in the back of my hand. Let me tell you, before I filmed this video, I quickly did up close swatches of this lipstick shade just because the last video I filmed, I completely forgot. And these lipsticks leave you a stain so i'm just going to say that for right now obviously i've applied them on my lips so i don't know how it feels on my lips or anything like that so i'm just going to go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand and look how pigmented that's literally with two swatches love the undertone to this lipstick it is really really pretty it's like a beautiful rustic type of terracotta brown and i absolutely <laughs> love how creamy the formula is i feel like if you're looking for a super pigmented lipstick i feel like this is the lip shade for you and this is described on their website as a warm cinnamon rose lip shade and i completely agree <laughs> i feel like it is really really pretty i feel like this is definitely going to give us a bold looking lip you're going to definitely stand out and i personally really love it so i'm going to quickly remove the lip combo that i currently have on and then we'll move on to try and on comeback queen so i'm going to start in the corner of the mouth although the right way to apply on a lipstick is start at the center and then work your way at the edges but to be really honest this is the way I naturally do it. <laughs> so I'm going to start at the corner of my mouth. It's literally <laughs> one swatch. I'm going to go ahead and press my lips together. And the point to this lipstick really, really helps to go in and kind of clean out these edges, which I personally love because if you don't have a matching lip liner, it's going to really help and go a long way. But as you saw with literally one swatch and pressing your lips together was more than enough product and I really love that because so far I feel like this would last you a really long time because you're not going to have to go in and apply on like several layers so so far so good a lot of the undertone to this lipstick it is so pretty even though it's like a bold lip color it has like and it's kind of like almost like a nude lip color at the same time that it's like I can wear this or I can see myself wearing this during the day as like my everyday type of lip shade it feels really comfortable on the lips I feel like I have something on, but it's not too heavy. <laughs> Let's move on to lip shade number two. This is called Be True, Be You. I absolutely love the names to these lipsticks. They're very cute, very positive. And let me tell you, this next lip shade is described as a rustic brick red lip shade, and I love it. It is so, so pretty. I feel like it has a neutral undertone. It reminds me of like a wine merlot maybe i don't know lip shade it's so pretty i love a lip colors like this i like them more than a classic red lip 
I don't know, something about this I just prefer it more. I feel like it works better for my skin complexion and it's just like moody and sultry. I feel like this is perfect for a date night. You can just apply this on and just be ready to set a mood, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and apply on this lip color. And press my lips together again. And then I go in with the point to line my lips. And as expected, I really love this lip shade on. <laughs> Comment down below on your thoughts. Do you prefer a classic red lip or something a little bit maybe more rich? By the way, when you press your lips together, I notice that the formula does not separate, which I love. Sometimes when it comes to like creamy, moisturizing formulas and lipsticks, sometimes it tends to separate if it's, you know, when you press your lips together and this one does not. Again, it feels really comfortable on the lips. I feel like I have something on, but it's not too heavy. But at the same time, I feel like if I drink, if I kiss someone, <laughs> It's going to transfer, so that is the only thing, but it does leave a stain on, so that's, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. <laughs> so let's move on to lip shade number three. It is called Thriving, and this is described on their website as a muted beige pink, and to be honest, I've already swatched in the back of my hand, and I absolutely love this lip shade. I don't know what it is. I really like it. It has, like, the perfect beige pink undertone to it that I don't feel like it's too pinky. I feel like it's going to look like my natural lips but better and I feel like this is the perfect everyday type of lip shade which is perfect because we all want something pigmented but nothing too loud sometimes especially when we're at work. So I'm going to go ahead and dive on in and apply this on because I'm really curious to see how it actually <laughs> looks on and if I actually end up really liking it. So I'm going to start in the corner and then work my way through. Yes, it's so, so pretty. Absolutely love this lip shade. It's really, really pretty. I feel like it works really well with my skin complexion. I feel like it has a neutral undertone as well. And I can definitely see myself wearing this lip shade even after I film this video. So I feel like that says a lot. And I just really like it. Like, even though I've applied the last two were really, really pigmented and it left a slight stain on my lips, this lipstick is just so pigmented and creamy that it will cover you know what I mean like I feel like that says a lot <laughs> for this lipstick so let's move on to lip shade number four fourth lip shade is called brave and this is described on their website as a light nude beige lipstick I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on the back of my hand and again it is so so pretty it kind of looks like my skin complexion <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's gonna show up on camera, you guys, this is the thing when it comes to ordering stuff online, you never really know how it's actually going to look on and look on in person. So that is the only thing, but I feel like you'll, you'll be able to slightly see something, but I really, really love it. I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade. This might work really well for someone who's a lot fairer skin than I. So I'm going to go ahead and dive on in and apply this on, but comment down below so far. What do you think of this lip shade? I'm going to start in the corner. And work my way through. I hope it's showing up. This is honestly a perfect lip shade for the spring summertime. I feel like I probably wouldn't wear this alone. I'd pair it with like a warm toned type of lip liner and then apply this in the center of my lips to kind of do an ombre effect or just to kind of line my lips just so you know that I have lips, you know, <laughs> just to line them. So that's the only thing, but I love the undertone, very unique, very pigmented. This lip shade, you guys, reminds me so much of Mel Cosmetics, and I forgot which lip shade because there's one of them. I think it's Whore or <laughs> Zaddy from their matte collection, and this lip color reminds me so much of it because they're so pigmented, but that's like the matte version. This is like the more hydrating version of this lipstick. So if you're looking for more of a creamier option, this might be a close option for you in case you're interested because it is very, very close and very similar. So let's move on to lip shade number five. So for the last final lip shade, this one is called Trail Blazer, described on their website as a rosewood lip shade. And let me tell you, this is a lip color that I wouldn't typically gravitate towards. I picked it up just by chance just to see what it's all about. Who knows, maybe I'll end up really liking it. I love how rich it is. I feel like it has a neutral undertone that it will work really well with many different skin complexions. And I just find it to be pretty unique. Again, it's really, really pigmented, really rich. I'm gonna go ahead and apply on this lip color. 
I think out of all five lip shades, <laughs> Trailblazer was the most difficult one <laughs> to apply on. I did go in with a brush really quickly to clean out the edges just because it looked a little little messy but overall you guys i really love this lipstick shade i'm surprised just because again like i mentioned you guys before it's not a lip color that i would naturally gravitate towards and try out and apply on but i feel like it's warming up to me i actually really like it it's just really pigmented but so far i feel like i haven't had any lipstick on my teeth from any of these lip colors so that says a lot but overall you guys i really like this lipstick i love the formula i love the collection i love the fact that it feels really lightweight and comfortable on the lips you do feel like you have something on but it doesn't feel heavy and when you press your lips together the formula doesn't separate and then literally with one swatch it's more than enough product for you to press your lips together and get an even application and i love the fine point to the lipstick you really can use it to line your lips in case you don't have a lip liner love the little heart shape to it love the packaging it's really nice and lux it has a nice weight to it i love the secure top it's like magnetic so you don't have to worry about the top flying around in your purse or potentially losing the top and i really love the names to every single one of these lipsticks i ended up really liking them all they're very unique in their own ways so i really don't have a favorite so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys have any questions whatsoever comment down below ask away i'm always looking for video ideas as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and as always i will see you all in my next video i love you all so so much bye